Hello everybody, horror fan here, and today we have got a bit of a special video because we are back to the world of Batterton after about three months. Because I remember that the last time we reacted uh, was around Christmas with uh, my two front teeth, which is somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. I remember it not saying, uh, warning, highly graphic. So, uh, yeah, those were the good old days. Yeah. Uh, but that's not the point of this video. Today, we are looking at some side projects that, uh, he's worked, that Bangton has worked on. Uh, and there's qu actually quite a lot of them. Uh, if you didn't see my previous video on Smiley's Fun Park, uh, I said at the end of the last video that I had 10, 10 videos to uh, react to on Bannington's channel because he's done quite a bit since I've last seen him. Uh, fun fact though, if you probably didn't know already by the title of the video, it's actually 11 now. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be keeping this intro for far too longer now. So, uh, yeah, some of these videos I have seen before, but I think it's, well, I mean, I guess for the channel and I guess for myself, it's uh, probably good to see them again to remember how they went and all that. Um, I remember an incident for this one, The Damned Lynch, where uh, Bashington used real life videos for of... Uh, events or actions so to speak so i'm not sure what it's going to be for that one but uh yeah anyway uh 11 battington videos let's see how they go uh so first one we have killer kenshin.mp4 found footage warning highly graphic um so yeah i think this is a homage to cory x kenshin the youtuber Sorry, it is. I don't know why I acted like, um, I haven't seen it before. I really also have no idea why ads are getting in the way. In 1948, Japan was still recovering from the bombing in World War II. A squadron of Japanese troops were on a mission in Nagaoski when one of the troops noticed a building still standing. Interesting. Inside the building, there were remains of what looked like toys, all of which had no distinct features of what toys could be, all except one toy that was in perfect condition. One feature the trees pointed out was the was the wakazashi sticking out from the toy's head. I have no idea what that is. The troops had concluded that someone had recently left the toy, but this was disproven after the fact that the toxicity levels were too high for anyone to be around. The toy was just a few miles from the blast, yet it, remind yet it remained in perfect condition. Haunted that toy is. Oh, so it's... Is that the Wojciechowski? Is it like a... It's like a Japanese katana, isn't it? Uh, the squadron all said they felt a sense of dread around this toy. They called it Akuma no Bushi, the Devil's Samurai. Yeah, I think this is definitely based on Corey X Kenshin because uh, it's using phrases that he uses like smash that, slice that like button with a samurai in reference. Uh, the toy is now being kept in a secluded facility north of Pinfang. Many scientists have conducted research studies on the toy. Some say the toy has supernatural properties that can could cause anyone around it to commit suicide. Uh, that does not sound good. Okay, so it's seeming to be more like a, an SCP sort of situation. I don't recall any SCPs that are dolls. Uh, these next few clips are from 30 years ago within that facility. So, 1990s? Testing, testing. Devil Samurai, show yourself. If you do not show yourself, you will be incinerated. I don't like how it's a white room, because I remember 
There's this type of torture that uh, people put someone in a white room and all the walls are just white and everything they have is white, like white clothes, white furniture, white objects, even the food and drinks they get apparently is white. That is... That is an unpleasant feeling to f think of, really. Uh, three, two... Oh, I think it's like a sound. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a sound response check by Scrimpers McGrimpers. So it's very weird with the, uh, the Wajikaki inside his head. And the model itself is just weird. Oh great, it's got Sophia's teeth, I wonder... We are sending two men in the room. Uh, that's not a good idea. Show us a sign or be incinerated. Really didn't know any better, did they? Definitely going to interrupt with a jump scare. Oh, I like that detail though. I like that detail on how, on how when his head tilted, it like slowly tilted, and then when it stopped, his mouth just started bending up and down a little bit. It's a good, nice detail. Through the years of research, it was discovered the toy would whisper a message that would cause any human who heard it to commit. Harakiri, a ritual of suicide involving slicing, opening their stomach, um, and then turning the blade upwards to ensure a fatal wound. Speculation stated that the phrase could have been Samurai Surasu. Suraisu? Samurai Surasu. Okay. Um, yeah, this is Dan Curse. <laughs> I think that was the word in Japanese just then. Those siren head? Oh, that was a face! I saw a face there. But this is good! Oh. <laughs> I think that might be one of Cory X Kenshin's faces just edited. Oh. He's. He... Oh, oh! I do not even. Oh, the intestines look like. Rogue. Oh! I saw some text on the wall and blood. What is happening? Um... That image of him in the... Okay, I'm beginning to think that it's Corey's... <sighs> Hi. Yes, you... Yes, you have a wonderful smile. Now, get out of my sight. Okay, we're already nine minutes in. In how is the why is that? I need to be to that. Oh. I need to be getting on with this. Oh man, that was that was spooky. That was very good though. I like uh, how it's actually got a bit more lore in just one video. I don't think there'll be a sequel to that anytime soon, but I could be very wrong. 
Okay, next up, uh, Until Tomorrow, FNAF VHS tape, The Golden Age. I've seen this one as well. Uh, it's basically, I think, his, like, uh, Paddington's own rendition of the minigames in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. It, it is. I don't, I don't know why I keep acting like I haven't seen these videos before, even though when you know I haven't, I've already clicked it and not shown it on screen, you know that I've seen it before. So I don't know what's up with me just reenacting parts like I was reacting to it the first time, even though I clearly wasn't. What is wrong with me? Oh great, we're starting out with that song. Oh, don't worry, crying child. You... I'm pretty sure the Fredbear head moved. Oh! Okay, well, William found him, and he's pro- Hello, friend. Hi, Fredbear, you've- You look lost. I don't- And scared. You've definitely changed the last time I saw you. I got lost, too. Someone in there? I can find my mama. No, she's been done. The bunny showed me the way home. Can I trust him? No, I'm not. That... Now I'm s Now I'm safe. That can be... You can be safe too. I don't feel safe anymore. That... What you said... Spooky! That was one of the worst faces I've ever seen. Um. Wow. That was I honestly judging by the by the fa in terms of scary faces. I think until tomorrow has won the cup so far. Uh. Yeah, I mean, while that was pretty short, the, uh, faces and textures and the characters are all scary looking. And, uh, I must say, the storage room in, in first person's perspective, instead of, like, a third person perspective, or, like, side-scrolling like the original minigame did, is very interesting. Much like, uh, side-scrolling games, like, uh, In Limbo, Inside, and Little Nightmares, and probably many more to come in the f so, uh cold far uh, close future but uh yeah that was good i mean while i have seen it before it's still good nonetheless now we move on to unexplored uh parts of battington's corner of U canon universe per se <laughs> i don't know anymore uh long story short these are videos i have not seen before so uh yeah so, this one, Timber's Story. I'm thinking this is related to T Tycon's, Tycon's Son & Co? Tyson's Son & Co. I don't remember the name of the game, but I believe... I remember that it is one of the first games that Scott Colfin ever made before Finance of Freddy's, but... I'm not quite sure if this is related to that game, but... Either way, let's go right ahead inside and see what we have. Stop play. Yay. Oh, I thought for a sec it was tilted to the side like the camera was on its side. I 
thought I thought he was a fox. I think the round uh, shape of his uh, body would, I guess, prove otherwise. Don't be scared. This story's not about me. This, this story's about another big bad. Jesus Christ! He just had a stroke. He didn't even tell us. There story. was a little girl who had father but no mother. The girl lived in sadness. Her father opened a place for sad kids like her to have fun. It had games. It had music. It had singing animals. And cake made from a machine that ate the ingredients and turned them into cake. Her father made her very happy. During school, the bullies would call her name. Uh, while that would pretty much be scary, I think a lot of people would probably say otherwise. And make fun of the way she looked. Ha uh, ha, uh, I like your hair. Ha uh, ha, uh, I like your shirt. Ha uh, ha, uh, I like your smile. They made her cry. And cry. And cry. And cry. The only friends she had was a young boy that could not speak. But he was friends with the bullies too. One day she invited the bullies to her birthday party at her father's wonderful fun house. They all agreed to join. During her party she asked if anyone would like cake. They all happily said yes. She told them all to follow her to the cake room. She had told them that the cake was inside the machine. One by one they each crawled into the machine. He and burgers come came out. <laughs> Sorry, uh, that's a little Billy Wiggly reference. I've um, wanted to bring it back in a way, just mention it in a way. <laughs> the boy with no voice was forced into the machine. Interesting story, Timber. But no matter how much he wanted, he could not scream. There were six cakes after. The little girl was happy. She celebrated and started to eat the cake. She even shared with the singing characters. She shared with Chuck. She shared with Emma. She shared with Owen. She shared with Mr. Tickles. She shared with Darla, and she shared with me. Shared with who? Kind of looked like a nightmare mangle ended. Skin, so. You know how I said that I didn't think it was scary, that face? Yeah, I'm not so happy about it anymore as well. Um... Wow. Uh... That was quite the story. I liked that story very much, Timber. I hope we can meet again sometime. Not really, but okay. Um, okay, that was definitely weird. Um, but that was good. I like the, I like the story. I definitely don't think that was Timber telling the story. It was the weird endoskeleton of sorts. But that was an interesting story. I'm wondering if that's based off of a, another FNAF-related project made by somebody else. I'm not sure, but that's quite possibly what it's about. But, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, next one we have the infamous The Damned Lich. So I've heard that it's about three characters, mainly mannequins and dolls, that talk about uh, dreads and wishes and tortures, I think, or something like that. I have no idea, so let's just get into it and see what it's about. Welcome back. Welcome back. I 
notice you all enjoyed the found footage from last episode. So just as you've all been waiting for, I was able to dig up more found footage. I came across another urban legend. This one was said to be another doll or toy. Oh, so this is going back to Killer Kenshin. It had a rubber f face and a plush body with gloves and shoes. That does not sound pleasant. It sounds like an Orton from Doctor Who. <laughs> Even though the face really doesn't look anything like it. It was found in an abandoned sewer in England after a man named Brian went on an exploration through the sewer. Is this going to be related to 8-Bit Ryan? I really hope not. I don't think it is. He bought it home with him. <sighs> he bought it home with him where he would later enter it in an auction. We are not going to speak of that. My computer has been glitching lately, sorry. <coughs> oh wait, that was... You were aware of that? Are you... Excuse me? It's been glitching lately. Sorry for any glitches. Is this batting Tim and Sorf or is this another character? Here is the footage of the toy display for the auction. Are there going to be many people? Oh. Bazafon 1984 annual auction. Oh, so this is like a few years prior to Killer Kenshin. Oh, so this is like Ryan and 8-Bit Ryan and Baz is not real. Oh. Oh boy. Um. Nineteenth century children. How the hell can this be a children's doll? Seriously, there are some wacky toy creations out there that are so nightmarish, you even- you so wonder why they were ever made for kids. I mean, if they- I mean, if they aren't what they were, then what they are now, then I guess it would make sense why they're a children's toy. But otherwise, I have no idea how a hellish thing like this could be a children's toy, like, seriously. <laughs> Fabric stuffed a body with child's drawings. Bloods. Blood stains. That's pretty sus. Believed to induce irrational fears that once didn't exist before. <laughs> what? <laughs> 1,600. <laughs> wait, 1,000. <laughs> pounds. That's a bit much if you ask me, but okay. Oh, he looks like he's, uh, taken s Oh, hi. Hi, you ju you're just doing good in the storage, aren't you?
How do you know that it's a man of all people? Of all creatures, per se. Also, um, indubitably, you are pretty much correct with the past things you said. <laughs> Hello, who are you? Oh, I completely forgot about this scene, okay? Oh! Oh! Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was gonna pull a Sophia move like the many others, but... Nope, I guess we're good. Okay, so... As you know... I was definitely expecting... I was definitely expecting him to, to, to... I was expecting the video to show the, uh, real-life, uh, footage of a man jumping off a building. Uh, I guess... I guess between that time, uh, now... I guess between the time of now and when the video originally released, it seems like he, uh, remade it. Which, to be perfectly honest, is what he... Sh he's what he should have done. And he did do it, so no need to say anything more about it. <laughs> I really have no idea why I wanted to see an action of a ma of an actual person falling off a building. Um, what really is wrong with me? Um, anyway, uh, that was good. I was I d I'm not sh quite sure if that was a reference to a Baz is not real and a bit Ryan, but I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm beginning, I'm beginning to think that Battington is beginning to make uh, VHS tapes off of YouTubers. He's already made two, so I'm wondering when the uh, third one comes. But uh, anyway, on to video number four: Susie and her wounded dog. FNAF VHS tape, one of six, warning, flashing lights, that's, yeah, uh, so that's a bit of a warning for you guys as well, if you don't like flashing lights, uh, probably skip this part of the video, so, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so I'm, as, as you could probably tell, this is probably gonna be about, this is gonna be about Susie from FNAF 6 with her dog in her own mini game. how William crashed into it, so this is probably gonna be very interesting. Only a minute, so I say we have nothing to fear. And I'm probably going to undoubtedly I'm probably going to undoubtedly uh question that. I'm undoubtedly going to regret saying that. Hey, what is your name, dear? Saucy. Saucy, that is. Oh, Susie. Come on. Come. Everything is alright. Is it just... Is it just William? Just with the face? I don't... I don't think it is. He's not really dead. The tears of the here. Let's take him to a special place. We can put him back. I'm well aware of the sounds in the back, by the way. Hell spring fly. I have a beautiful female voice. Don't worry, Susie. Just take the chance. And let me open my eyes to the world. And follow me. Okay, it actually was uh, mostly uh, just will just spring Bonnie. I was expecting it to I was expecting it to show like a bit of animation, to be perfectly honest. But apparently it did not. But I ain't complaining. So uh, yeah, basically it was to be expect. It was basically what it was saying. Just Susie and the dog and all that. I was expecting. I'm not sure if Battington believes the dog, Susie's dog being Mangle theory. I'm not even sure if anybody still agrees with that, but, uh, yeah, that's one of the theories that we had back in the day. I still remember the days back in 2018 when Matt Pad believed that the dog, Susie's dog, was Mangle. 
to be honest, is probably the truth, and nobody just taken much notice of that. But uh, anyway, yeah, next one, Mr. Tickles and Squeaker, coin-operated show, hashtag one-shot horror challenge. Yes, I remember the one-shot horror challenge, people were talking about it on Twitter. Is it over now? I was going to join in for this uh, event, but I guess it's, um, I guess it's too late now. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, jump right into it and see what we have if it tells us to chill out when clearly we cannot. Mr. Tickles and Squeaker. Fantastic. something there might be something very cursed about this package that I have received um well that is a lot I'm asking for but okay that's I I'm, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fine I'm sure it's absolutely fine um Okay, next up, parts and service. Or parts dollar service, apparently. What you doing? Oh, hi, Freddy. Oh, yeah, this uh, module, by the way, is, I believe, Battington's own model of the upcoming... It's his own model of Freddy for the upcoming FNAF game for the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative uh, FNAF Plus. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just like to mention that if you didn't know already. What you doing? I'm just hiding. What you doing? I don't know. Why are you hiding? Ready for a re one. Um, in your way, I suppose, I guess, yeah. Oh, that's interesting, actually. So... Oh. Oh, yeah! It makes sense now! Oh, that makes so much more sense now. No wonder. No wonder. One, no little wonder. Sorry, I'm... I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. 
So, uh, yeah, okay, so it seems like that Battington is remaking the original FNAF VHS tapes. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, really interesting. Okay, uh, next up, the watching.avi. <laughs> That reminds if you if you've been around uh, Markiplier's channel for like an OG Markiplier fan, then you might know his uh, video, uh, his gameplay video of the little horror game called Whiskers. I was actually when I first saw that video, I instantly fell into big interest with that game. And I was wondering if the game was ever going to have a sequel. It hasn't since uh, 2017. <laughs> Yes, the game is actually that old. But, uh, yeah, I was a big fan of the game that I wanted a sequel. So, uh, yeah, I doubt it will, but I'm a, I'm still a big fan of the game. I def- I wish it had more. But, uh, yeah, when I saw the name of this video, I def- It made me- It pretty much almost instantly reminded me of that game. But, uh, yeah, judging by the thumbnail, I definitely don't think it's going to be about that game at all. It also seems to be having a different art style than what... It definitely seems to be having a different art style than what Battington has done previously. My lonely dear friend. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering, who am I? Wait a minute, is it actually about that game? I'm but you're on the loose. <laughs> what? Where are you? Don't you worry, you're in my little game. The rules are simple as can be. Stay alive, and you may have a chance to win. <laughs> Doesn't sound too hard, does it? Oh, very. Oh my god, it actually is. I did not think it was going to be about that game. Generous, if you will be lucky enough, you have my privilege to stay alive. More than many, many others who ever tried. Well, all the time has come. Join us. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's actually sick. I love that one. I abs I actually really like that one. I love how it's taking if that is about the Whiskers horror game, that is cool. Battington, I officially approve you for making a video on such a small game but was a big success to me. And probably to a lot of others if they have seen the video and take very big interest. I think because I think it might have taken a big interest because it was a, a lot like FNAF with the, uh, with it being associated to masks, but to be completely honest, the game itself is not related to FNAF at all. It just has animal masks with, uh, the victims and all that, but apart from that, it's entirely not related to FNAF at all. But, uh, yeah, that's so cool how your how Battington has just made a video relate, uh, talking about that game. I really like that. I thought I thought nobody would talk about that game. No big people, at least. But uh, yeah. Uh, next one, Fazbear Entertainment Video Manual .mp4. Apparently, it's telling me to read the description, so I guess I might as well do that. Uh, actually, yeah, I think I definitely should for Pete's sake. But uh, yeah, this definitely seems to be the first of Battington's remakes of the original OG FNAF VHS tapes. So. Dive in and see what is going to happen. I think we all know what is going to happen, unless it's his own version that he might add completely new different things. Maybe even a voice actor for this one. Welcome to the Fazbear Entertainment Maintenance Video Manual. Never mind, forget what I said entirely, it is nothing brand new. <laughs> This tape will cover the instructions on how to clean out your state of art animatronic characters. Each animatronic has the same cleaning procedure. First, reach behind their neck and press the red button. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't... well, well, I guess it's necessary, but the retexture of the blue screen, the blue screen room, 
it's a bit darker per se but i guess that's what this whole this whole series was it was and probably still it and thanks to Battington is about this will set them into maintenance mode second oh hold on that that was what is that what is that i'm glad that i got that on like on point when i was going back but what is that I have no idea what that is. Second, press the blue. Oh, is that was that a guy just like setting up the camera? I doubt that it was, but it looked like that's what it was doing. Oh. Blue unlock button on the back of the head. Remove the upper jaw carefully, then detach the lower jaw. Third, press down on both. Okay, that endoskeleton looks a lot like Noobs or Nines endoskeleton that I remember for Fredbear in Season 1. <laughs> That's so weird. These endoskeletons and models are so weird. But they're not bad. I mean, consider- I rem remembering the recent image of, uh, Kane Carter's, uh, teaser for Pop Goes Evergreen, that teaser looked so real. It looked so good. I'm- Definitely looking forward to the upcoming projects for the Fazbear and Fanverse initiative. Especially Five Nights at Candy's 4. Five Nights at Candy's 3 brings me back so much nostalgia. It's... These games... FNAF is just a great game. With many of its great, fantastic fan games, FNAF has made a legend. Shoulders to unlock the shoulder joints. And along with FNAF VHS tape creators, it's just... Scott Coughlin is just a god with his uh, idea. It created history. Remove both arms. Finally. Also, I'm thinking that my uh, phone is starting to buffer, so I really hope that my phone doesn't crash. The torso deep and lift it upward until it is completely removed. Uh, you can definitely tell that it's actually based on the FNAF Plus uh, Freddy model because he's got pants. What kind of animal wear pants, eh? Climb inside the to Oh, it's gonna extend its torso and accept your. D It's not that bad. Oh. <laughs> it's not that bad actually, that uh face. I mean yes it is it is still creepy nonetheless, but uh it's not too bad as uh, some other faces I've seen in the past. Okay, this is probably scaring a lot of people, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quietly leave and leave that to that. Okay, so nine videos in. Okay, two more to go. Charles Entertainment dot mp4 only 20 almost 20 seconds long. Let's see what this is all about Oh <laughs> I thought it was like upside down like the that was the floor and that was the uh, Walls just upside down, but no apparently it seems like we're in some kind of cinema with the star roof or so to, so, to, so to speak Is that like, is this like that, uh, that, that hide and seek cat meme where, uh, whenever you look, when it, when the, per, when the camera holder just looks away for like a split second and then it just teleports ever so closer like Slenderman. Not a fun game, I tell you. Definitely not the proper entertainment. Okay, never mind. Apparently, it was Chucky the whole time. What are you doing here, Chucks? Why are you named Charles now? What? what why is that? I I question I question this gratefully. Is uh, is this is this the is this a video of the guy who uh, bought that old and that old Chucky e. Cheese animatronic for like lots of dollars? You remember that situation if you've ever known or seen it before? I hope so, cause uh, 
That's a weird one. I've seen a few memes of that. I've only seen one meme, actually, out of that video. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that not much, like, literally no story about that, but still. Uh, yeah, all these past videos, while some of them have been short, I will say that they're quite good. Uh, Charles Entertainment, though, is a bit way too short that I'm not even sure if there's anything to say about it. I mean, I guess about... I mean, I guess from this image it is pretty good. Still. Okay, last one, 11th video, the one that we've probably all been waiting for. This probably is about uh, Harmony and Horror Season 2, because uh, definitely going to be happening. I um, I guess it's a good to have a little bit of a preview if this is about Season 2, but a lot of I've seen a lot of people talk about how other people, of other fans of this series, has just been like... Uh, being very impatient about waiting for season two to officially come out. And I disapprove that very much. Just, Battington is a hard worker. While I say that I'm a fan and also an enjoyer, you know those memes, those Battington fans and Martin Wall's enjoyer memes. Uh, while I am a fan and an, and an enjoyer, uh, I'm definitely not one of those guys to just like, You do this right now, I will call the police if you don't do, if you do otherwise. Just like, s just don't be a dick and just let the cre- just let creators go at the time that they want to go, okay? Cause... Cause you're a horrible person otherwise. <laughs> okay, last one. F eight. Almost 8 minutes and 20 seconds long, Family Reunion, Lost VHS Tape, spoiler warning. Well, I mean, I mean, we were pretty much going to go into this series sooner or later, so, uh, yeah. Oh, it's got a live chat? Oh, that's, that's cool, I suppose. For the stupidest man you will ever, 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 ever see. Someone translate that, just someone reverse it. Actually, I'll probably do it. I'll probably do it when I edit this video. Since I since I have the ability to do that. Oh great! After all the torment I've been through for the past Piss off the cops! Damn! What are they catching me for? What did I do? And now I'm stranded here. All I wanted to do was take out the trash. That's all I wanted to do. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. That's a. That, that's. That. Yeah, this is a weird looking trash bag. Anyways, it's probably the turkey I ate. <sighs> all right. I just. Did I? Did I literally just get? Look, man, I know a lot of people have been overheading yourself, but, uh... Okay, you know what? This is fair. This is absolutely fair. I have nothing to say about this. I will not abuse this, and I will just continue watching until we get to the end. Now, which way is home? Oh, 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 oh hey, hey, what the hey, hell is that? Hey, man, what is that? Hey. Oh, hey, oh, hey, what's up? Hi, hi, I haven't seen uh, you in a hot minute. Yeah, what? man, what's up? Uh, uh, hey! Oh great, it's Ice Cream Battington. Who... Who saw this? Is this like a Fazbear Toddler Fun reference? What?! I need to come back to the, to the series actually, because I think the third... I say third because the OG original video I have not seen, so I need to add that to my reaction list. And uh, yeah, this is... I think the third one, I'm not sure if it is the official third Fazbear Toddler Front, but apparently there's a new video out that may be related to it. But uh, yeah, this seems to be referencing uh, Fazbear Toddler Front, so let's just get right in. What the fuck? In. Oh great, he's doing that meme, fantastic model. Yeah, you, 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 you know me, you know me, come on, really, yeah. I don't think you know. <laughs> Come on, man, you know me. Arthur, you know? Arthur, yeah. Arthur, yeah. 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 Yes, yes, that makes yeah. 
<laughs> so much more sense. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I yeah, I should have guessed that. Yeah, the, yeah, it's definitely spoiler warnings for season one, which came out months ago. Why, 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 why didn't I guess? I, you know, that's I, I don't a good know. question. Uh, yeah. uh, it's me, Arthur. Uh, how are the kids? Oh, how are the kids? Uh, how the, really? How the, I, yeah. I, I don't have, I don't have kids. Right, 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 right. right. You, yeah. yeah, that was like the daycare center you were working at, right? I, I, I don't so. work at the daycare center. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. so, um, uh, uh, how's your wife? How's your wife? How's uh, your wife? I don't have a Right, wife. You, yeah, right. You yeah, you got it. Yeah, okay. I'm not married. So, yeah. how's... Sorry, everything is strictly copyrighted to Martin. No, no way to, uh, disprove that. <sighs> how's your dog? Oh, he's great! Oh, he's oh great. really? Really? Yeah, that's he's that's great. great. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, uh, he's, he's all right. Yeah, that's nice. That's that's yeah. really nice, man. Oh, yeah, you know, it's um, it's been a hot minute. Yeah, yeah. since um, yeah, um, since since I was at your house. Uh, oh, you were you you were yeah, you, you were here at my house. Sir? Yeah, I yeah, I was there day. Baby wait, sitting. what? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, what? your kids. Ah, 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 Yeah. Uh, what were you doing in this uh, house? My, your kids. Ki my kids? Yes. You, uh, I they, let you... Uh, who, okay, who are you? Who, no, really? who are you really? really? Like, really? We're going to do you this know, right you, here right now. We're going to do this right were here right now. Were you a friend from school or something no, like that? No, 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 no. No, I just don't on, know who you are, man. man. Get, uh, take a guess. No, he's the he's the ice he's the ice meme. So what? You like my come uncle? On, man. You my know uncle. me? Come on, my uncle. Yeah, my uncncle, I mean, right? come on. Okay, really? okay. Yeah. It was a wide. Your uncle, more like your stepdad. I'll say that much. Yes, really? You're like a best friend? A best friend? Come really? on. Really? You gotta oh, okay. know something well, about me. I mean, it's 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 come on. painfully you're, obvious that okay, I'm you're my you're my. my uh, my brother, brother, my brother. Yeah. Brother, yes. You're only doing great. Wait, you're really? Uh, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, you're like, I you look nothing like me. Yeah. Like, you look nothing well, like me. Well, looks can be deceiving. No, I, I, I think I know I mean, after how all, genetics you, works. you did do this to me. What? You did do this to me. What? 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 Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. you, you put me in the... I don't normally what? look what like you? this, you understand? Yeah. You mean you don't look yeah, like you a giant ice cream this, um this thing it's it smells really bad it smells like cheese are you uh... serious <laughs> is that a can fact actually that the ice cream man smells of cheese inside oh no wait a minute really i bad. put you what yeah it's not fun either do... I, I can hardly move and um i've been kicked out of kicked out of my own house what, by are you the, serious the police but, they, police they're not a big fan of me you know oh my god <laughs> how, ice cream guy how did i yeah how did i do this yeah you put me in here how did i do this so you want to explain that what, what's going on man like what what, what what's the i don't deal? even know how no yeah you went off on me i went, went off on me yeah, what are yeah, you talking you about what are yeah. you how did i do that how did i put you in there with a gun what pointed to my head right but Oh yeah. What? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, my yeah, right. God. The eyes. Are you serious? Yeah, you didn't see that one coming. Yeah. No, I did yeah. not. Are you serious? I got it between your eyes. Are you yeah. serious? Wow. Yeah, it's it's serious. weird times nowadays. Are you know, I, I I can't just I can't just sit by. Yeah, it's. I God, how long this must have taken to edit? Jesus. And you're treating I this almost either. like if you don't remember. Because I don't. You know, like if I, it was another person who did this. You know, I, you listen, listen. Wait, so Martin has dementia? When did he ever have that? Responsibility for the things you do? Listen! Yeah, I bet okay, you don't even up. know what today is. Listen, like, that's you! How, that's how bad it is. What? Dr. I Bob. know what today is. Shut up your face. Okay, so I think Martin definitely has dementia. That's that's just great. I know what today is. Okay, I take full responsibility for the things I know I do. I don't but it came to my realization that he was right. I did not know what today was or the night before. As a matter of fact, I could not remember my entire life up until this point. I was very confused as to what was going on. And I didn't even oh remember. Oh my god! Oh, oh man! <laughs> well, I did. I did not actually see it being. I did not actually see it uh, being related to everywhere at the end of time by a mile away. Remember that I had a trash bag with me. Come to think of it, he said I had a gun. Where did I put the gun? 
where did I put my gun? Where are my kids? The one ultimate question, where is where is Martin's gun? That that is the question of the century, my guys and gals. Where's my wife? Where's my wife and kids? I haven't seen them. Nor do I know where I live. Do I even have a dog? Do I where 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 is my life gone to the up until this point? I don't know what date it is. I don't know my birthday. I don't know how old I am. What is going on? I am really confused. What time period is this? I don't know if I drink alcohol or not. Do I need to take steroids? I don't think I do. Now, why am I dressed up like a clown anyways in the first place? Why were the police chasing me? These are questions I really need answered. Hey, yo, Tony, is there a problem over here? Oh, uh, uh. <coughs> God, please. Damn. What, everywhere, man. What, what is that? That's <laughs> Kind of looks like Jack's. It kind of looked like Jack said to Kai his face for a sec. Honestly, uh, that's a big dog, by the way. Is that a? Is that a? What's the name of the dog? Um. Is that a husky? Hey, Wait, oh, what? what? Come it on, looks like man. a dog. A dog? Yeah. A, like do a dog? Yeah. A do you, if any. Okay, I don't remember a dog having one eye unless. Uh, it was SCP-525. Uh, don't go into that SCP. It's quite disturbing and unsettling, so I recommend seeing SCP-525 at your own risk. He looks more like a rabbit to me. Okay, You're oh, telling yeah, me that thing is a dog? That's yeah, not, no, that's yeah. not a dog. I refuse, I refuse to accept that it is a dog. Come on, it's your dog! Where did it come from? Do you know this dog? Listen, is this your dog? I know no, you. it's your dog! Oh, gee, I yeah, you. I would've thought your dog got ran over or something. God it's your dog. I, I, okay, this is more crazy stories that I can't even remember. I can't remember. Okay, so does, is this saying that Battington's getting into everywhere at the end of time? Because uh, that's a pretty pog uh, move, I'll, if I do say so myself, my guy. Oh, I'm telling of, you. I'm sick of this. You, shh, get, uh, get out of here. Go, go, go get the stick. Go get the, uh, get out of here. Wow, all right, all right, all right. Looks like we got a problem over here. Mm -hmm. All right, step back. I'm going to do my magic. Holocaust. I am the one no Yo! Yo! Oh, great. First we had Buff Helpy, and now we have this abomination. G great. Oh, no, oh, hell no. This is some witchery. This is some witchery. I'm sick of this. Relax. I'm going to end myself. No, right Relax. this minute. I'm oh, going to. Man. I got a job. The holy yeah, I'd rather Martin and himself rather than be crushed by something like that. Police? No, you That's can't what's call the police. And all of you, all of you fictional fairy tales are gonna go away. All right, I've had enough of this. I'm lost, hungry, and I just want to go home. All of you. Fair enough. Crazy mofos, get out of my face! Does not include us too, Father. Oh my God. Oh great, Dorco's here now. Was wondering when uh I was wondering when uh he would be making a reference with Henry being Dorco, cause uh apparently Baz is not real, was making fun out of Henry looking a lot like Dorco, and it seems Battington paid attention. Well I mean he did make uh the damned lich with Baz as well, along with the name Ryan, so I I suppose. You're weird, you're weird, you're weird, and you all got weird stories! What's next? You gonna tell me that there's two kids in this bag right here named Eddie and Molly that I was gonna bury in the forest? Is that what you're gonna tell me? <laughs> Wrong universe, nerd. Well, it depends. Do you have two kids in a bag named Eddie and Molly that you're gonna bury in the forest? That's it. I'm going to Underwater Wonders. Go on. You're going. Two where? kids in a bag named Eddie and Molly that you're gonna bury in the forest? That's it. I'm going to Underwater Wonders. Underwater Waters? Is that... Is that the, uh... Is that the FNAF VHS tape with the seal animatronic? I think that's what he's talking about. Harmony and Horror 2. Oh. Oh boy. 
I think that's the dragon. I think that's the dragon from the final teaser in the Battington finale rabbit hole and uh, the season two trailer, which actually came out, but I'm not going to react to because my phone is buffering a bit. It's taking a slow motion and uh, better finish this up. I think I'm definitely going to use something else than V-Recorder next time. But uh, yeah, that was a bit of a troll. A bit of a troll. And I disproved that. But if it's due to the people who have been impatient, then serves them right. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, that was hilarious and pretty cool though, I'll say, with the Everywhere at the End of Time reference and the Walton Files reference. <laughs> I'd honestly say that is one of the- that is the best. Family reunion is the best. It was- it was definitely worth the wait for something like that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that is the end of the rabbit hole- of this rabbit hole, per se, of not one, not two, not three, not four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but 11 videos by the man, the legend himself, Baddington. Um, so, uh, yeah, those were, those were all good. I'll say that much. Ranging from the different stories and the, uh, memes and jokes and stuff, uh, well, one being more of a meme than anything else, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. I definitely also like the watching I did not think that, I mean, I knew, judging by the title, I did not think it was going to be related to, uh, the horror game Whiskers at all, but, wow, that was totally unex- Oh, no, wait, oh, I completely forgot, I needed to read the description for this video, hold on. Oh my god, I actually, I actually completely forgot about that, I'm so sorry. Hey guys, so just as I hinted at, I would be recreating Squimpus McGrimpus FNAF VHS tapes with the vintage models and give them a twist. As to be expected, because I did not think that it would just be a simple recreation of the tapes with his own models. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for more in the future. Well... Knowing the, uh, famous scenes in some of them, I'm definitely interested to see how you're going to recreate them. <laughs> I'm being honest here, really. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, this, uh, Battington's back, to say the least, with some, uh, projects that are definitely going to be interesting. Not saying that the, uh, projects he's already made weren't not interesting, but, uh, yeah. I definitely like those videos a lot. Uh, I really hope my- I really hope this doesn't crash my phone, if not kill it. So, uh, I guess we'll see what happens. So, uh, yeah, those were 11 v 11 Battington videos. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, which I really didn't think it was going to be an hour long, if not more. But apparently that's what it is, so, uh, yeah. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider liking it. And if you're brand new to this uh, channel, then please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button to get notified when I react to uh, Battington's future videos, including the uh, Harmony and Horror, Horror Harmony and Horror Season Two. You better not be impatient, dicks. And uh, the remakes of the OG original FNAF VHS tapes, and possibly even more side projects which I'll definitely be uh, checking out. I'm not sure if season two is going to be the final season, like uh, season two with the Walton Files, which is going to be the next and last season. Like, uh, I mean, that's how it was for the OG FNAF VHS tapes of Squimpus McGrimpus having only two seasons when there was a planned third one. So maybe that's how it's going to be for Harmony and Horror. Uh, I don't know though. But uh yeah, go subscribe to Batnington as well. Go click his bell if you're taking if you take interest in his videos. If you already have, that's a you're a polger. That's a pog champ moment. <laughs> oh man, it's probably not going to be long until uh Pog uh, becomes a uh, dies on my channel, if not the whole world, but uh yeah. Uh until then, uh the next video is not Pog Champ dying. Hopefully it won't die anytime soon. But uh, yeah, until then, thank you so much for watching, 
and I'll see you all next time. Uh, next video, by the way, might be... The Monument Mythos by Alex Kansas, or maybe something else entirely. Maybe Gemini Home Entertainment, because it's been a while since I've seen that. There's just a lot of things that I need to come back to and react to, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.